Kill it with fire. Now. Furries. Christ. So what in God's name is a furry? Well, apparently there is not any description that is set in stone, but the idea of a furry is simply someone who finds the depiction of anthropomorphic animals fascinating. Now, as usual, the people who represent furries on the internet are usually a very loud minority, so for the most part, I'll focus on the very most extreme examples of this strange and quite frankly confusing fandom. Furries are another bizarre and unexplainable creation of the internet, and whether you like it or not, they don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, it's quite the opposite, with the popularity of shows like My Little Pony helping to boost people into discovering their outlandish hobby. Overrun with animals from all over! Oh, I'm actually from Argentina. Before making this video, I only had the most vague idea about what being a furry actually meant. It's just people who like to dress up or draw human hybrid abominations, right? Well, apparently it's not just that. So what does a typical furry do? Well, it all starts with your... Uh, fursona. Yes, it is literally the stupidest name for anything ever, I know. But it's effectively your persona, your original creation, your very own furry character designed primarily for role-playing. I get to have a lot more fun without people thinking I'm weird or strange because um, I'm already weird and strange. Some furries like to meet up with other furries and do, uh, furry things. I don't actually know what they do specifically at these meetups, but I'm not going to research it because I don't want it in my search history. So the argument for being a furry is that it's all about creativity, freedom, and a sense of community, and I guess that's all well and good, but it still comes across as a weird sexual thing, and you can't help but feel like you want to shower after seeing some of these pictures of these meetups and things. I'm all for doing what you want to be happy. I've often said, hey, I don't care what you do on your weekends as long as you're not hurting anyone, but Christ, what the f*** am I supposed to say? These are grown people dressing up as animals and just generally doing things that are strange and not typically normal. So some of them feel as if they're misunderstood, but personally, uh, I just feel like I have to disagree. And this is a tough one. You can be misunderstood if you're some kind of minority, because you have no real choice or say in the matter. And furries are certainly still a minority, but... It's not until our very recent internet generation that furries have established their place in society. Are these people doing this just for the sake of being different? Have there always been furries but they've just been hiding it or kept it to themselves for all these years? Are they somehow mentally broken? Or do they in fact truly feel exactly the way they describe? Well, I have no answers for you, and no one does. You can argue, insult, or speculate all you want, truly empathising or understanding this peculiar fandom from an outsider's perspective is next to impossible. And this is where the problem lies. There is no correct answer to if I should find furries some kind of strange abomination. People like to do weird sh and damned if they should care if I think it's f***ed up. Sure, I guess when you break it down it is against what most people would consider to be normal and it is dangerously close to being bestiality. But much like my brony video, I have to land on the I just don't give a shit side of things. I mean, really, it doesn't affect my life either way. I say just let them be weird misfits for the time being in the corner. I find it hard to get angry about them because, well, what the hell good does it do? It's all a weird personal opinion that ultimately doesn't matter. So while you can go and get angry about furries, I'm going to rant about something that does matter, like politics or crappy Adam Sandler movies, because I can actually do something to affect those topics in some way. Oh wait, no I, no I can't. Not even in the slightest. What the f*** am I doing with my life? So last episode I asked the question, what movie would make you the most angry if Hollywood remade it? Here are some of my favourite answers. So this week's question, you know what, there is no real question. Just tell me where you stand on the whole furry situation. I find it all very intriguing. So that's what I think about furries. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments below. All ratings and things are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.